Hey guys, I'm back, and this time we had a little print adventure. We made something for the cats. Um, one of my cats, she's an old lady cat, she's 14, 14 and a half actually, and every now and then when she inhales her food, uh, she'll walk around and then get sick and then throw up. And what's happening is, uh, as they get older, that if the bowl is on the floor, that angle for their neck is tough, and the recommendation was to get them an elevated food bowl. Now, I found some on Amazon. You can find them at the pet store too, but I like these. They had the cute little, you know, it says yummy in the middle. And I knew these would take a little while to show up. So I ordered these. These are, I think, 13 bucks on Amazon. And I was looking around thinking, there's got to be something on Thingiverse for this. And there is. And I printed it. And it's really awesome. And I'm going to tell you all about it after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, first of all, my name is Paul and I welcome you to my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm all about 3D printing tutorials, how to use them, projects, reviews. Uh, I'm also, I have a bunch of other side projects. I've built a full size aluminum R2D2. I've got a stormtrooper suit. I got a Batman suit. The list goes on and on. So as you can see, I'm kind of a creative little nerd here. Welcome. So this time around, we're doing a little project for my cats. Uh, I have an old lady cat. She's 14 and a half years old. Her name is Mama Cat. And I also have two others. I have a four-year-old and a three-year-old. Uh, Molly is four and Theodore is three. Molly's the big fluffy one that always winds up showing in the background here in my videos. You usually see her in the blooper roll as well too at the end of my videos. But um, what was going on with her <clears throat> is sometimes when she would eat, uh, because the bowl's on the floor, uh, when she sat up and started walking around, boom, dry heaves, starts throwing up, and quickly becomes the vomit comet because like most cats, they don't just puke in one spot. They just take the party with them and not a whole lot of fun. So I reached out to some friends who are vet techs and cat owners and just other friends that have older animals and just said, hey, what do you do? And they recommended an elevated bowl. So I went searching online and I found these wonderful ceramic ones. This came from Amazon. I think it was $13, $14. And knowing that it was going to take at least a week for these to show up due, of course, to the pandemic that's going on right now and has slowed everything, I went looking through Thingiverse. And on Thingiverse, searching under cat food bowl holder, there's a gentleman by the name of Artie Lay, and he has come up with this excellent, and I'll show you more here as it was created, uh, cat food bowl holder. And it is designed to take a 10 centimeter wide metal bowl. Uh, this one's a little bit wider because of the brim at the end of it here. Uh, this one measures uh, about uh, four and a half inches across and it's an inch and a half deep. And I found these at the, at the box store. So, you know, your Walmarts, your Targets, uh, maybe even the pet store would have them. And what's excellent, and as I showed, you know, just after it printed, but once you have this guy, you know, uh, up and ready to go, it fits right in there just fine. So this was fun to print. What I did is I used my Ultimaker 2 Plus. I put in a 0.8 nozzle. I used um, Cura 4.8's uh, profile for that nozzle. And we went ahead and we cranked this guy out in about 13 hours. Uh, we didn't go too crazy on too many of the settings. We did use a 0.2 layer height. And uh, it was really fun to watch those big fat beads uh, go on and just watch this guy go round and round. And uh, when it was all said and done, I was super for anxious to see if that bowl would fit. And as you can see, it's a good fit.
So then it was time for the big test. Let's put food in the ceramic bowl. Let's put food in the elevated bowl and let's see what happens. Now the ceramic bowl is about two inches uh, you know, off the ground and the elevated bowl is closer to five or six inches. So I was curious which way they'd go. And one thing I was considering is maybe that she's gonna smell the plastic or maybe the ceramic, who knows. But when I put both bowls out there, I carefully waited and she went to the ceramic bowl. Uh, but sure enough, when she cleaned out that bowl, she went right over to the other bowl and success. She's happy. So a fun print for a fun little girl and she's enjoying this and we've had this uh, done and printed for a couple days now. I've been feeding them every day with this plus a ceramic bowl. Um, they do seem to prefer the elevated one a little bit more than my ceramic one. So I think it's time to print another one of those. But so far, so good. She's eating and she's not puking. Makes the owner happy. So if you have the same issue and you're considering renaming your cat Ralph, Give this a try. And that's it for this time. Be sure to check out what I'm up to on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, you can see the website at wherenerdyiscool.com to see all of my videos. Again, if you're not a subscriber, hit the button down below and become one. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Hmm. Let's try that again. Five, four, yeah, one more time. Five, four. As you guys know, if you've been watching my videos, I have three cats. They're very spoiled and they're very loved. And they tend to show up in the background. I usually don't see them while filming, but I always see them while editing. And I wind up in the blooper reel, blooper reel at the...